everybody! So I have finished farming 20 simulacrums, which took me about 10 hours, give and take, because 30 waves is about 30 minutes on average. So yes, just wanted to quickly go through stuff that I picked up. And uh, yeah, so first off we got Breach Rings, I-83, I-84, uh, basically anything I-83 and above, they sell for about 2.5 chaos each on TFT in bulk because people are vendoring these for the grasping males. Next we have essences. It drops a lot of essences, but they are screaming essences, so you have to upgrade them, and uh, doesn't look very good compared to normal essence farming. So catalyst, we've got prismatic, fertile, tempering. These are the more expensive ones, but all of these will still sell in bulk. Then we've got fragments, mortal hope fragments, uh, mortal fragments. I did not pick up Sacrifice Fragments because I didn't have enough tab space for that because I needed to arrange everything for this video so I couldn't just throw it in here. Okay, we've got fossils. So I already got rid of all the cheaper fossils like Frigid, Metallic and only the good stuff is left. Pristine, Dense and some of the rarer fossils and 3 Prime Chaotic Resonators. We've got a lot of stack decks. Raw currencies, a few six link drops, so I think pretty much only Quill Rain is worth money. The rest are kind of doo doo. Um, Agnarod is also worth some money. So yeah, these drop from the weapon rewards if I'm not wrong, from Delirium. Okay. Then we have Scarabs, and then lastly we have the good stuff. I did drop three passive voices, which I already sold for 55x. Uh, the prices are very very weird now because. I think there's not a lot of drops. It's about 50, 60x around there. Yeah, some cluster jewels that are worth money. I didn't pick up all the other nonsense jewels. So yeah, some split personalities that are worth money. Megalomaniacs and split personalities in general, I did not include into my price breakdown because it's uh, these are hard to price. So yeah, I'll bring up the PowerPoint and I'll be back. Alright, so simulacrum farming. So what are the pros and cons of this strategy? So the pros is that you don't have to roll your maps, you don't have to roll sextants, you don't have to buy sextants, you don't have to get scarabs. You just put in the simulacrum and then you do 30 waves and you're done. So next you have not much clicking that is involved. So don't need to loot like fragments and all that. Or like simulacrum splinters, you know. Everything just drops as a nice pile at the end of each wave. So it also drops everything and anything, so you can drop diff cards, scarabs, essences, everything. You can get anything pretty much from simulacrums except for, what you call it, you can't get heist and expedition stuff. You can get incubators for expedition, which you should do if you are doing this, right? You should just use all the incubators while you are doing the simulacrums itself. Um, and another pro about this is you get a lot of EXP, so you can level a lot of gems on your offhand. So, but I didn't include that into the price uh, breakdown, right? Okay, so next, the cons is that I think you kind of need to clear all 30 waves because after wave 20 is, I feel like, when all the good stuff drops. So, I think there is an incentive to clear all 30 waves. So, it's also kind of boring because I, I did 20 and I already wanted to stop because it's like 10 hours of this simulacrum nonsense and it is kind of boring. I would rather do something else like Betrayal is more fun. Okay, so next, it, as I said, well, it drops everything and anything, right? Which means you also have to sell a lot of things at the end. It's not very straightforward. You can't just bulk sell like one thing, right? You have to bulk sell many, many things. So in a way, I think you need to do a few simulacrums for it to be better, right? Okay. So our cost, I bought 20 simulacrums at 0.4x each. I'm not sure if the prices have changed because it did take me some time to farm this and make this video and sort out all the loot. So it was about 8x at the time where I started this project. So the profits, so without any big items, I made 54.4x exalts. This is already counting the 8x cost. So it comes up to about 5.4x per hour, which is kind of bad. It's not that good. It's like half the amount that I'm getting from all my other strategies. So, but, but with big items though, it comes up to about 15x per hour, which is insane. I mean, but POE is all about gambling, right? So if you drop a one passive voices, drop three passive voices, you drop house of mirrors or whatever, 
then it's gonna boost your profit per hour by a lot. But yes, yeah, mostly focus about uh, whether it's worth it without the big items. Um, I don't think so. At least not in the current state of the economy right now. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up, I'll be going in ascending order of what gives like the least profit to the highest profit. So breach rings, I picked up IT3 and above breach rings because people are buying this in bulk to get grasping males. So it's about 2.5c each, brings us to about 160 chaos and 8 chaos per simulacrum. So sacrifice fragments, uh, I did not pick up um, the sacrifice fragments because I had no space. If you were a normal person who didn't have to sort everything out for a video, you should pick them up because it's just free money, even though they sell for like 7, seven to 1 chaos. I mean, it's still free money, right? Since it just drops at the end. So for me, I only picked up the good fragments, the Uber SU fragments, and it comes up to about 239C for about 12 chaos per simulacrum. Next, we have fossils. I did not include all the cheaper fossils like metallic, frigid, scorched, stuff like that. We only kept like pristine, prismatic, and all the, you know, rarer fossils like perfect fossils, gilded fossils, things like that. So it comes up to about 17 chaos per simulacrum. We have catalyst. So catalyst, uh, pretty good profit actually, 22 chaos per simulacrum. And we did drop quite a lot of the rarer ones, I would say like the resistance resistance catalyst and uh, fertile catalyst, the life and mana one. So yeah, it generally sells quite easily in uh, bulk. You sell them in 20s. And yes, brings us to about 22 chaos per simulacrum. Next, we have essences. So essences, they drop a lot of essences, but they're all screaming essences, which if you think about it, means you need to drop nine of them to form one deafening. So yeah. Uh, the reason why you see some like smaller weird essences here is because I turned in the three voices cards, which gives three random essences. So yeah, that's why there's some weird stuff here. But in general, still pretty good profit, about 43 chaos per simulacrum. Not too bad at all. Um, of course, this can't compare to like normal essence farming boss rush strategy. But yeah, still pretty good profit. So for maps... You can choose any map you want to favorite. It will drop a decent amount of maps, I guess. Um, I chose Cemetery because it's still selling in bulk for about 3 chaos a piece. So, yes, we dropped some Conqueror maps, some Elder maps, some Shaper maps, and Vault Temples. So, all the other maps I didn't pick up. I only picked up these and included this in the profit. So, stack decks. Simulacrums drop a lot of stack decks. I got about almost 800 stack decks, which means I got almost... 40 stack decks per simulacrum, which is really quite a lot. And it sells for about 2 chaos now. If But for this kind of bulk, I think you could probably get a little bit of a better price, maybe selling exalts. So yeah, stack decks are the kind of a big money maker for simulacrums. They almost pay for it and more. They do pay for this whole simulacrum and more. So next we have scarabs. Drops a lot of scarabs. The only problem is that it's mostly rusted scarab, so I would actually take this with a little bit of a grain of salt, because if you're looking at like uh, metamorph or like sulfite scarabs, all these you have to sell like quite cheap. They go for very very cheap. So yeah, but in general, still pretty good money. About 121 chaos per simulacrum. I did not break this down. I use excellence because this is just there's too much, right? This. You have to sort it out from rusted to polished. It's just too much. So it's probably about 120 chaos per simulacrum when you account for the bulk pricing for some of the scarabs like rusted expedition and things like that. Okay. So in terms of raw currency, we dropped, um, I think I only dropped three raw exalts from the whole thing. Everything else was from exalted shards that dropped. So another thing is we dropped a lot of awakened sextants. So this is a pretty good source of sextants. So it's also kind of a big moneymaker, about 900 chaos and then exalts. So we have about 275 chaos. Some of these are from the chaotic disposition, three faces in the dark, or the rough cards that drop from Simulacrum itself. So yes, the rest kind of don't really make up that much money. We got like some GCPs, fusings, chisels. I just wanted to include these because um, 
these are kind of variable like at the league start some of these are worth a lot more like regrets are worth a lot more i mean they kind of balance out i guess so yeah 187 chaos per simulacrum pretty good money still returns are definitely not a problem for this it's just how long it takes so now let's talk about the good stuff so simulacrums can drop they drop a lot of things right so they can drop breach splinters they can drop unique items you could drop mage but you could drop headhunter in here right it's totally possible so the main big things that i got i got a three passive voices which you should have seen in the intro clip and i didn't even notice it until i looted all the other things and actually on my very last run i got an unrequited love which is quite insane so yes simulacrum is like a loot <laughs> it's a gambling thing right it's like a slot machine you get three passive voices you get one passive voices and suddenly you're rich so the prices of voices is very weird now last night it was like 55x and then this morning there were like none left and then people were pricing them at like 200x it's kind of crazy it's definitely not worth 200x because that's the price of like the one passive one so i just took 55x since i already sold it for 55x and then unrequited love is about 33 exalts then we got some other stuff like alluring bound uh, yeah alluring bounty life and strength split personalities this is the only one that i accounted for in my calculations and yeah some cluster jewels 40 chaos for cold clusters 30 chaos for um the minion cluster so things you can get that are worth a lot of money from this is if you drop like a three passive i84 mana reservation cluster jewel which it can drop from here or like the flask effect one of those for the cast and damage taken ward loop stuff so yeah all these are like 21 20 gems if you get a good one you can sell for money so i got like soul projectiles uh convocation which i didn't even include in here so i only took things that are worth like more than 10 c so yes this brings up um the profits from the good big ticket items are it's about 16.5k chaos which brings us to a profit of about 4.7 exots per simulacrum so take this with a grain of salt because as i said these are big ticket items it's really gambly it's not something that you're going to get you may get nothing and then basically this doesn't exist or you can get one passive voices and get even more than me so yeah concluding thoughts um i think simulacrum will be very good at leak start where a lot of things are worth a lot more money um your filter won't be as strict probably as mine right now so a lot of the items will have more value certain uniques are going to have more value that are hidden by my filter then yeah i would say run simulacrums in bulk like you run like i think 20 is a pretty good sample size you could be crazy and do like 50 or 100 and get like a lot more voices and whatever but i can't do that that's i think 10 hours of farming should be a reasonable sample size so yeah i don't think it's too worth to do right now at this state of the league unless you drop some of the big ticket items so with that um i've come to the end of the video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you want to see more of these um hit the like button if you want to and uh that is all from me thank you for watching and goodbye